Okay, I've just finished cleaning the pool and I'll just show you how to do it. The first thing you do is you come down here and you open up this. It's a little bit harder with one hand, but I'll try. I'll put it upside down this way. Okay, let's see what I've done. Now you take this off here, like that. Put that over there. You go into this here and turn it to off, which is the middle switch just there. All right. The first thing I do is I go over to here and I unplug this now so that you take the paper out. You lift this out like that. I just drag it up like that. You pull this up here. You check if there are any leaves in it, which there are a few even since I just did it a minute ago. I just tap it on the side here. Okay. Get the leaves out like that. Pop this back in. Now, sometimes if this is really full, some leaves get under the basket in the pipeline. So I have to go back here to the pool pump now. And what I do is I just turn it on for a sec to get it to pump into here. Now I've emptied this. This was full of little leaves and the rest of it. But I'll show you how to do that in a sec. So I just turn the pump on again to pull through any leaves through the pipe. And it's all good. So I turn it off again. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, is we're actually going to take the lid off this, even though this is clean, it was filthy before, and we're going to clean it out. The first thing you do is you turn this lever here to the right to close. You'll see close there. Then the second thing you do here, there's a lever on the side here. I just push this across a bit. It's, and you just basically, if you look at it, you can't see it very well. You turn it around so the handles to the top, okay? So that's the first thing I do. Now this is hard to move with your hand because it hasn't got a lid. So if we go to the trusty shovel and we put the shovel in on an angle like that and just turn it gently that way. And what happens then is, is, is it's undone. If water starts coming out of the system, it just means you haven't closed one of those two things properly. All I do is, well, I should have a close look. If you look closely here, you can see it's been cut. There's a little nib there and I've cut out a little rectangle with a curve end on it. So it sits and then you have the, the gap there. So the water that comes through there goes through that big rectangular hole. So what do we do now? We pull this out like this. We go over here where the rest of the sediment was from earlier. And you can see there's a bit there now. I just tap it down like that. Pop it in the pool. To rinse it. Like that. Pretty basic. Not too hard. Like that. Then come back to here. And align the big hole there with the pipe there. And make sure that that one there, the nib is like that. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. Now... All I, you saw before that the little black thing fell out before I just slotted it in there. I just quickly turn it over like that and do one turn clockwise, two, and then I just push it a little bit harder. We've also got our friend here joining me. Okay, I just turn that a little bit harder like that. Then we go back over to here and we turn this lever back down. That allows the water to flow from the pool into there. And we turn this lever here back to the top, 12 o'clock, which is called filtration and filter there. Now, you've just got to be aware of when you've come here. The pump was already going, so all I have to do is to put it down to auto. And if you look here, you see the water starts to fill in slowly. You wait till it fills up properly. Good. Like that. So then we go back over here to 
the cleaner. All right. And just pop that out of the way to start with up there. You get the white one here and it's got the white plastic insert on it there. Put that down so it's even. Put your hand over to feel this a bit of pressure. Get the brick, put the brick just on, I put it on the front side, the left hand side. Then put that through here. It comes out there. And we just go like that. And if all being well, it'll be pumping. Now, if it's not pumping, what I do is, is I un unplug it again, like that. And I pull up the thing from the bottom. Because sometimes those acorns that fall off the tree get caught in it. So I'm going to bring it all the way back up to the top here. It's a little bit hard, hard by handed. Okay. Here. Make sure you don't cause any problems there. The first thing I do is, you can see here, is look inside and see if there's anything blocking it. And you can see in there, there doesn't seem to be anything blocking it. We actually can't see it from that angle. There. But what you do do is this. I don't know if you can see that. See that little lever there? You pull that back. Lift that up. And check here. There's nothing stopping that. And I also check right down in the grooves down here. There's sometimes seeds in there that stop it moving. Put that back down again. Remember the right way. Slip in the bottom there. Like that. Very hard one handed. Put that down like that and remember to close it. Like that. Pop it back into the water. Put this back into here. And she should be pumping. Or he should be pumping. So that's taken seven minutes to do describing it now the final thing you have to do is is to stop sweating but to put this back so i'll do this with a free hand you're going to see this guy now put that down like that there that's easy enough this one here there's a lip on the bottom there and there's a lip there you just pop it on there over the lip put it in line and you've done it properly, you line up with this, you just lift the little lever up, there, line it up and go down. And eight minutes later, you have effectively done the pool. The final thing which I did before was, is I pick up the scooper, scoop everything significant off the top, which I've already done but also have a really good look on the bottom. There's a few leaves there that I'm not too worried about, but I don't want any of those acorn sort of nut things because they get caught in the thing and there might be one there. Scoop it up and then you're okay. Just be careful if you do it, watch out the spiders. I scoop up the spider as I did this just then. All right, that's all from me. There's our pool looking pretty clean. I won't bother telling you how to put acid in, but if you feel like it up there on the ledge, you can see in the distance just there, there's some chlorine, they put some chlorine in the pool. All right, that's all from me. That's how you do the pool. Bye for now.